Hi Aries, welcome in and thank you so much for joining. Be sure to only take messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. If you are cross-watching, keep in mind that the energies could be vice versa. If the messages are not for you, check your other signs or check back next time. We're going to start with the person you're dealing with now, and then we will take a look at the singles readings. So if you would like to skip ahead to the singles portion, there is a timestamp in the description box for you to do so. So let's take a look at the person that you are dealing with, the person you have history with, and see what's going on there. Some of you guys could have been dealing with a Pisces or another Aries. I also have Libra Taurus. So I do feel like you're getting over somebody here, Aries. Some of you guys could still be bitter about the situation, okay? And I said some of you. Um, we have the Emperor, the Hanged Man. I will say there is somebody that's holding on to your energy here. Let's see, what happened with Aries and this person? What happened? Ten of Wands. Too hard? Too much work? Excuse me, I had to clear my throat. So I feel like there was just a lot of stress and burden. Some of you guys felt like it was too much work to keep something going. Could have been dealing with an air sign or somebody with those qualities, but let's see. Eight of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. She just kind of feels like, you know, it was too hard to move it to the next level. Because I do feel like something never got to that next level because it was just too much, too hard. The Tower Scorpio energy. Um, somewhere along the line, you two reached a point of no return and there was no coming back from whatever happened between you two. How do you see this person? Spirit, how does Aries see this person? The world, as it's over, right? Um, they could be at a distance from you. Uh, that is fixed energy, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio. A lot of you guys just kind of see this person as a chapter in your story. Four of Pentacles for how you feel. Uh, I do feel like you are very protective over your heart right now. Not really letting anything in. Not letting anything too close. For some of you guys, this situation just kind of left a bad taste in your mouth. So it's like even when you deal with people, you still are closed off emotionally. Justice card, Libra energy. For some of you guys, there could have been a legal situation involved somehow. But this Justice card is really just kind of you guys uh, feeling like a situation was unfair. So maybe you found out the truth about someone. But it's like the justice card, that's like cause and effect. And so I feel like somebody did have an impact on your life is what I'm getting. Like, regardless of how long this connection was, you do see and feel like this chapter had an, a significant impact on you internally. Okay. Um, how do they see Aries? Let's see how they see you, Aries. Spirit, how does this person see Aries? 
How do they see Aries right now? The moon. Pisces energy. You know, they're confused by you. They see you as secretive or just keeping yourself hidden, keeping things about your life hidden. But the, the main message here is they're, they're very confused. Um, there's a lot of confusion surrounding the situation. I feel like this person is kind of like an energy of like, did that really happen? Like somebody's like, did this really happen? Was that like real? Let's see. How do they feel? How does this person feel about Aries right now? The chariot. They feel distant. Clarify that because I feel like... Let's see. Clarify that. The tower. Yeah, this is like, wow. You've made a pretty big impact on their life as well. Aries. So it's like the tower, the chariot, the moon. I feel this person is still dealing with emotions from the situation. And they do feel like it's in their best interest to keep moving forward. But again, you've made a really big impact on this person. And so I feel like there's something to do with you that has caused this person to be forever changed. But again, they feel like they burned a bridge with you. With the chariot, the tower, the moon, they feel like, I mean, I'm going to say it again. They feel like they have burned a bridge with you and there's no coming back. What do they want from Aries? Spirit, what do they want from Aries? We have um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, Libra, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, okay. Nine of Cups in reverse. Let's clarify that because... Page of Swords. Sorry, Aries, that I keep turning the mic off. I had to clear my throat again. So it feels like this person um, doesn't necessarily want the best for you right now. And I feel like it's because they are, they're upset that they can't be with you. There's an energy of them upset that, especially if you guys are in this energy of getting what you want or chasing a dream here, I feel like this person is watching you kind of hoping that you're not as happy without them. Like it's like somebody wants you to not be happy without them. And I feel like that could be for selfish reasons, right? Because this person, you know, they, they of course would want you to be happiest with them. <laughs> but I feel like that's just something as a human people go through, right? But it's like this person is kind of, they are watching you, keeping tabs on you. And it's like, they don't want you to be happier without them is what I'm getting. What do they like about your race? Let's see. What did they like about you? You're unpredictable. Fun. Okay, they never really knew what they were going to get from you. Um, I feel like this person really enjoyed your fun-loving energy. Knight of Cups. That you had the ability to be...
different at all times, right? They like the way you made them feel about themselves. They like the way you made them feel in general. But it was like something about your personality. You're very kind, caring, but there, there's also this energy of the Knight of Wands that is, uh, you were very unpredictable. Like the things you would say um, and do. What are their next actions towards Aries? Two of Swords. Somebody here is just kind of avoiding speaking with you right now in the current energy. The lovers, Gemini energy. They're avoiding making a decision. What would, what would what's the decision? This is general. Let's see. Temperance to make amends. You know, whether you realize this or not, Aries, this person is actually still on the fence with coming in and communicating with you and making peace with you. And so it's like they're on the fence about that. But right now they're avoiding it. I feel this person is trying to avoid the way they feel. There is an intense chemistry that you two still share. But I just feel like this person is still on the fence with what they want to do next, okay, is what it's telling me. Um, I'm going to pull you a hidden truth. What's the hidden truth? Signs you could be dealing with. We have Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Libra, Pisces, Cancer, Sagittarius, Gemini. Those are the main signs I am seeing. What is, um, what is this person's hidden truth? They miss hearing your voice. Bottom of the deck, it says, sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. So you are on their mind a lot, guys, okay? Um, I, but I do feel like this person has not dealt with the way they feel. They haven't dealt with their emotions, okay? Okay. So now we're going to take a look at the singles. Okay. Let's see. Single Aries. We're going to do who's coming in and what's coming in. Okay. Um, let's see. So who's coming in? Who's coming towards my single Aries? coming towards the single Aries, okay? Four of Swords. The person coming towards you is kind of taking a step back from love, Aries, okay? But let's see. What they like about you, the Hermit, that you're emotionally withdrawn. Your thoughts, Five of Wands. You don't want any added drama to your life. Five of Swords. What's next? King of Wands. So, you know, this is for my Aries that you're already indecisive about love right now. Um, and there is somebody that's coming into your experience that is also indecisive about love. Now, what you can be prepared for is this person has taken a break from relationships. Eight of Wands. I do see um, for you single Aries, what's coming in? There's some type of elevation happening here. Okay, I do see you crossing uh, the finish line of a project or reaching some sort of milestone. This could be in your career or a personal goal here is what I'm getting. We have the Nine of Cups here at the bottom of the deck for what you don't see. There's a wish or a dream of yours that I see you reaching. 
okay? Um, so you don't want any added drama in your life is what you're telling me in this reading. The Magician. Virgo energy is standing out. Could be an air sign coming towards you, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It's very interesting. I feel like you guys are just interested in, it seems to me like your main focus, Aries, is manifesting for yourself. And you view love as too much, too much drama, not worth the fight, okay? I feel like, you know, the people you've dealt with really left a bad taste in your mouth. Nine of pentacles for what they like about you. So the person coming in likes that you're not in their face. They like that you're withdrawn. They like that, you know, you have a tendency to like, maybe you're a homebody and they know this about you or you're someone that's not in everyone's face all the time. Nine of pentacles, you're self-sufficient. They like the fact that you are career focused and driven towards, you know, being successful in whatever this is that you're putting your efforts into. Them, the moon, five of swords. I do feel like this person is a lot of drama though, just so you guys know. I feel like they're secretive. And I feel like they're actually looking for confusion. Like this is somebody that is not open to love that's coming towards you. For a lot of you guys, there is a Pisces or an Aquarius that would like a clean slate with you. Could be a Virgo as well. Um, I am picking up on that. But I do feel like anyone that comes towards you this weekend, Aries, or this week, it does feel like they're confused and, you know, they play games. Why? Three of Cups. 34 can be significant to you. 35, 43, 45 for some of you. Um... I'm also getting 39 and 38, but I just feel like someone's only interested in having a good time because they have had a bad experience in the past with love. I don't see this person ready to settle down. Yeah, look, seven of swords, the knight, I'm sorry, the king of wands. So what's next is uh, somebody that is going to try to get something past you. Someone that is trying to um, be sneaky. So I feel like there may be someone that comes towards you um, in a manipulative way to make you feel like, you know, you're the next best thing, okay, with the Hermit, the Nine of Pentacles. I really feel like this person likes you a lot. They like your personality a lot, but this person is not interested in a real relationship. I feel like this person is playing the field still. I feel like this person has other people they're talking to that they're not going to quit talking to anytime soon. I feel like this person is just really interested in dating. I'm just getting a message of like not ready to settle down. They just want to really date around. And, you know, maybe you're okay with that. Um, this is, you know, general reading, but I will say what's next is the Seven of Swords. I see this person lying to you about something or leading you on. So your advice is the Ten of Cups. Um, I feel like this is an advice to not settle for anything less than what you know will make you happy. So we have Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Virgo, Gemini, Pisces. See. We're going to do an all signs part, cross watchers. 
All right, so if you're dealing with another Aries, okay, this Aries, there, there is an Aries that would like to come back into your life. If you're dealing with a Taurus, this Taurus is heartbroken over you. Could have been in a third party with them. Doesn't have to be. I feel like this Taurus is also worried about you. You are dealing with a Gemini. This Gemini is not ready to drop their guard. If you are dealing with a Cancer, this Cancer would like to make things right with you. Could be some legal situation happening right now, but they they would like to make things right with you if you're dealing with a Leo. This Leo has abandonment issues, and I feel like they have a tendency to leave anything that they fear is going to leave them first. If you're dealing with a Virgo, this Virgo would like to come back into your life, or they would just like to start again. If you're dealing with a Libra, this Libra wants to take action. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, the Scorpio thinks the situation is too much work. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, the Sagittarius is indecisive. They have not decided what they want to do or what they want. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, this Capricorn could have ghosted you, but I feel like they're just withdrawn for the moment. If you are dealing with an Aquarius, this Aquarius has romantic feelings for you. If you are dealing with a Pisces, this Pisces is non-committal and not interested in a relationship currently. All right, Aries, those are your messages. Until next time, bye.